Joined now by the president of the Oklahoma City Community Foundation, Nancy Anthony. Thank you so much for being with us today. Great, thank you for asking us. We're talking about a really important program, your program that provides warm meals for our elderly residents that are homebound and maybe can't get out to get these meals. Tell us a little bit about this program for those who aren't familiar. Well, well, first of all, Mobile Meals is the community's program, but we're just very fortunate to be able to support all the churches and the, and the nonprofit organizations that participate in it. And basically what it is is a program that provides meals and the, and the meals are provided by churches primarily in Edmond and Norman there are some other nonprofits that provide it but every day the that church members will cook meals deliver them to homebound elderly for the most part are the people that benefit from them and so the great thing about it is not only do they get food but they get a touch they get somebody that actually sees them and knows that they're there and i think sometimes that's as important as the meal itself so it's a great partnership between all the different people in the community that want to participate as well as them provides a service that really is very very much appreciated by the families of these elderly people it's awesome and there are dozens of churches that participate we have them listed by the way on your koco app there were just a ton we couldn't list them all on the screen because there are so many but if you're interested they're on your koco mobile app so how exactly does this work does a church say we want to be a part of this program and then they just start Cooking meals? Well, the program's been around for a long time, so uh, so basically it's coordinated through a, a very small grant from the uh, from the state to a group called Mobile Meals of Oklahoma County, and then they actually screen people. People apply. If you have a, a loved one or a neighbor who you think needs a meal, you would contact the Mobile Meals of Oklahoma County, and they would screen you, and then they would assign you to a church that's in your area. And then the church then has a list. Every list, every week or every month, they get a list of the 20 or 30 meals that they provide. Some of them provide one meal a week. Some of them provide more than one meal, meal a week. But the, but the individuals know that the, that the meal is coming and the churches know the people to whom they'll deliver. And for the most part, they're in the neighborhood of the church. But it, the great thing about it is the way that the churches actually respond because it, there's really not very much money exchanged. We provide a little bit of support from the community foundation to the churches, primarily to encourage them, but the resources come from the churches and from the members of the churches who provide the food, cook the meals, deliver the meals. So it's a great, great opportunity for people to be able to participate with something other than just giving money. Sure. And I think that that's probably the greatest part about it from our point of view is that it, it allows donors to, to give something that as part of themselves, not only the, the, what they do as a volunteer, but actually then engage with people. And as I said before, I think it's that touch of, with, the, with the elderly person that's as important probably as the food. The visit, the personal interaction, right. the hug, you know, whatever it may right. be, so true. You touched on the money. The state's budget crisis could have really, really affected this program. That's where the foundation comes in. Walk us through kind of well, what we, we help support, to some extent, the actual coordination of the function, but then we also support the individual churches to some extent. But I'll have to say that this is one of the programs that because most of the resources come from the churches and come from the members of the churches who support those activities, it's probably less affected by the state's budget crisis. We want to make sure that the coordination occurs because in reality, the churches have to get the information about who needs the, the service and the people who need the service need to have a coordinator to apply to, to to know that they can participate in the program. So that's where the, the crunch comes in. But but that's something that I think is probably the great thing about this is, is it is the community doing it for, for its own members of the community. Okay. It really is the community helping itself. Sure, sure. We have here that the foundation awarded about $40,000 to the 58 mobile meal providers just in central Oklahoma, and that has a huge impact on it, those. Right, but in general, what they do is so much more. You know, we're happy to I would have to say what we do more than anything else is encourage them and say we really appreciate what you're doing. In, in a way it's a thank you from us because we know that the, the big, biggest part of the support will come from them. Come from those churches that are again on, on your app. If someone's watching and says I want to be a part of this, I can cook or I can drive the meals or if they're watching and say, say you know I have a neighbor who really needs this, how would they get involved in this kind of, kind well, of program? Well, well first of all go, to go to your, your website and find the churches, if there's mm -hmm. churches near, near them that would be the best place to actually okay. get involved with the churches. The second thing would be to talk, contact Mobile Meals of Oklahoma County. Uh, and I'm sorry I don't have that information right now, That's but okay. we can get that and get that on the website too. Then they can contact them and determine how that uh, elderly person can qualify to actually get, that, get the meal and when they need it. Nancy, thank you so much. That's an awesome, awesome program and a crucial program to so many people here in our community. Thank you so much for the time. And again, all that information is on your KOCO app. So if you know anybody who needs a warm meal, who needs a hug, who, right. needs, who needs the visit, it's all there on your app. We're